This video goes over a few more examples of solving problems involving the normal distribution. In this example, we're going to look at the lifespan of a turtle in captivity is normally uh, distributed with a mean lifespan of 180 A for annum, so 180 years, and a standard deviation of 40 A or 40 years. So we've got X bar is 180 and sigma is 40. And the first thing that we're going to do is find the probability that a turtle will live for more than 255 years. So just like in the previous video, we're going to draw a sketch of the normal distribution here. Uh, 255 is quite a bit larger than the mean, so the area under the curve that I'm looking for is over here and to the right. Next, I'm going to find the z-score for that value. So 255 minus 180 over 40. Again, I'm using the equation x minus x bar over sigma. And this is going to give me a z-score of about 188. Using my z-score table, I'm going to find that the area under the curve for that z-score is 0 0.9699. Now remember, the z-score or the area under the z-score always counts up to and including um, the z from the left. So that value that I calculated there, that 97%, uh, represents the area to the left of the area that I'm looking for. In order to find uh, the little piece that's left over, I'm going to do 1 minus the area under the curve, which is going to give me 1 minus 0 0.9699, which is about 0 0.0301. So the probability is 0 0.03, or about 3%, that a turtle will live longer than 255 years. The next thing that we're going to do is calculate the expected value. In a turtle population of 750, how many will live more than 255 years? So I have 750. My chance of success, or the probability that a turtle is going to live that long, is 0.03 which works out to 22.5. So I can infer that about 22 turtles will live for more than 255 years. The last one that we're gonna do is find the probability that a turtle will live between 200 and 255 years. So what we're looking for here, if I draw another sketch, is that my turtle is going to live between Z1, so 200, and then Z2. I want to find the area in between there. So my Z1, that is for my turtle that's going to live 200 years. So I need to calculate that z-score first. And I get 0 0.5. Using the z-score table, I find the area under that curve to be 0 0.6915. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my second timeline, so 255. and I get a z-score of 1.88. And again, using my z-score table, I find the area under that part of the curve to be 0 0.9699. Now I want to find the difference between the two. So in order to do that, I am going to subtract my area under the curve from my z2 score and the area under the curve from my Z1 score. So I've got 0 0.9699, take away 0 0.6915. I 
And if I use my colors to show you what I'm doing here, my area under the curve from Z2 goes all the way from this side, all the way up to where my Z2 line is. My Z1, which I'll do in green, goes from here all the way up to where Z1 is. So taking the area that I've shaded in blue, subtracting the area that I've shaded in green, gives me the original area that I want, which is that uh, portion that I've shaded in black. So I'm going to get 0 0.2784, which is going to tell me uh, about 28% uh, chance that a turtle will live between 200 and 255 years. We're going to do one more example in this video of finding the area, but this time I'm going to give you the information in a little bit different way. So here is a sketch of the graph, and I've got a Z1, this is at 5 here, and then I've got a second bar, and what I'm interested in is finding the area in between those two. I know that it's normally distributed, it has a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2.5. You would be given this information on the test or an evaluation. Here, I'm just writing it in so that we can solve the question. So what I need to do is I'm still going to find my Z1 score that corresponds uh, to 5. And then I'm going to find my Z1 score that corresponds to 17. So let's do Z1 first. So I'm going to do uh, 5 minus 10 over 2.5, which gives me my Z score for 5 of minus 2. And then I'm going to find my Z score for 17. So 17 minus 10 divided by my standard deviation, which is 2.8 here. And now, what I'm going to do is use my z-score table to find the area under the curve for both of those z-scores. For my z1, I'm going to get uh, 0 0.0228. And for my z2, I'm going to get 0 0.9974. And then to find the area that I'm missing, I will shade in my colors again here. So my first one that I'm going to shade in is blue. And that represents this value right here. So the area under the curve for my Z2 score. And then I have the area under the curve for my Z1 score, which is right here. And in order to find the original black area that I've shaded in, I've got the area under my Z2 score, take away the area under my Z1 score, which is 9974, take away 0 0.0228, which gives me 0 0.9746. So I know that that area represents about 97% of the data, and that is my final answer.